welcome back. So the behind the scenes secret is out. I finally got my canoe. It has been quite the saga getting to this point. Uh, started a few years ago. I was looking for a boat that I could handle myself to take my dog out uh, for an afternoon of fishing or a solo, solo overnight trip or something. You know, just something to tool around, something that I could handle and, and uh, you know, just be able to do something on my own once in a while when I have the time. So I was originally thinking that canoes were out since the, you know, the Royal X uh, ones are quite heavy. I didn't really know anything about the Kevlar ones uh, a few years ago. So I thought, well, I guess I'm stuck with a kayak. So I started looking up kayaks and, and about the time I was going to pull the trigger on a kayak, we're now into April 2020. And if you guys remember April 2020, or 2020 in general, you could not find a kayak anywhere. It was all gone, especially the on top ones, because I thought, well, I'm probably going to need to get an on top one so I can get my dog on there with me. And I really wasn't crazy about the idea in the first place, but I thought that's what I was stuck with. About the time I realized I was not going to be able to get a kayak, that is when I come across solo canoes. And, um,. Then I was looking into like the uh, Swift Solo Prospector 14. That one kept coming up. Uh, so then I found out about those like lightweight ones. And the Prospector 14 is a beautiful boat. It has so many different like customizable options and things you can throw on there. Uh, the trouble is there's no dealers near us, so we'd either have to get it delivered from Canada or from Connecticut. It was the closest to us in the U.S. And I called that store in Connecticut and they said it was going to be like an $800 delivery fee on top of what they charge for the canoe. So we're talking, I mean, by the time it would all be said and done, about five grand for a solo canoe boat. I just couldn't do it. Just the thought of spending that much on a boat, a solo canoe of all things, just made me sick. So that was out. So, let's see, after that, then I found North Star Canoes. Um, they've got some really nice solo canoes, but I also noticed their tandem ones. And their tandem canoes were only a little bit more than, they only weighed a little bit more than their solo canoes. Probably about like 20 to 30 pounds more than their solo ones. So I was looking at their B16 model, and that was a nice one. Um, there, there actually is a dealer for them in Maine, I think it was Rockport, and we called them on a Friday, and they said, oh, we just sold our last North Star, um, and the guy who orders them for us, he's out all weekend, but he'll be back on Monday, so they took our information down and they'd call us on the Monday. All this time, so for the last couple few years, I have been looking online for used uh, solo canoes, uh, Kevlar canoes. Can't find them. So, so that Friday, uh, Friday night, Joe was looking on Facebook Marketplace or something like that, and he found a used Ranger uh, canoe. And he showed it to me, and I was like, oh, that's a reasonable price. I mean, for a used Kevlar canoe, why not? Um, but then I was like, well, I'd like to hear back from these other guys, the North Star, first. Because up to this point, if you go back to, like, even the kayaks that I was looking at, and you, you get in your mind what boat you want. Then you have all these options and things that you go through that you're like, okay, well, if I could pick, you know, I would pick this and this and this and this and this, and doing it over and over and over was so mentally exhausting I was just like let's just wait and see what these guys say so then the next morning I was cooking breakfast I said you know what heck with it why don't you get in touch with that guy that's got that used Kevlar canoe that's a good price we'll just go with that so he looks up the ad gone sold already that quick it's like yep of course it is. Why not? 
So then Monday rolls around. That store called back about the North Star canoe. And Joe says, bad news. I'm like, I'm not surprised. At this point, I am not surprised. What is it now? He said, well, they could get some more North Star canoes, but they're not going to have any more B-16s manufactured until 2023 or something like that. I was like, what? Okay, of course. Of course. I was just so disappointed. Not surprised, but disappointed. So I just went back to making breakfast. He starts looking up Ranger canoes, and he messages the guy. And the guy says, I only have two canoes available right now. I've got a burgundy one, and i got a green one that I'm making right now. And I said, tell him I want the green one. Quick, before he sells it, stop that. Just, just tell him I want it. I'll take it. So Joe locks that one in. He goes down to, um, oh, what's it called? Squam. Squam Lake, New Hampshire where they filmed on Golden Pond, that movie on Golden Pond. Uh, that's actually my favorite movie with uh, Catherine Hepburn and uh, Henry Fonda. I mean, it's too bad. It's got language in it, so if you've never seen it, it's got some language in it. But, um, and Jane Fonda kind of gets on my nerves, but it's a cute movie. Anyway, so Joe goes down to Squam Lake, picks up the canoe, brings it back, and it's just a beautiful boat. Gorgeous. Uh, we got to let it sit. The guy said that it'd be, be a good idea to just kind of let it sit and like cure for a week before using it. Which, that'll be up in like just a couple of days. And, we have a trip coming up. So stay tuned for that. I'm just so stoked. It's only, so this... Ranger Otter 16, uh, it's just over 50 pounds, it's got a weight capacity of 950, it's a V bottom, a slight V bottom for better control in the water and easy steering and stuff. Beautiful boat. I can't wait to get it in the water. So that's the exciting news. Finally got the canoe, something I can load myself, I can, I can throw right up on the escape and uh, load and unload it myself. Pretty tickled. Pretty tickled. I can go out fishing for an afternoon or do a couple overnighters or something on my own. So stay tuned for that. Plan on doing some videos for that. There's also a guy named Pete. He's got a channel called Rugged Outdoors Guide. Rugged Outdoors Guide. So I'll leave the link for that down below. He's got some great videos on there. I actually found his channel by looking up uh, how to lift and carry a canoe by yourself. Um, he's got all kinds of videos, all kinds of cool stuff. So go check him out. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Hope you have a great evening, I guess it is. Have a great evening. And stay tuned for some more adventures and we'll catch you on the next one.